The next thing I'm going to do, this is also under the category of makeup because it makes the piece pretty, is I'm going to do these little accent lines. And I've chosen a Mettler variegated metallic or what they call a multi to do that. You know, here is the metallic color card. And by the way, if you would like to have these cards, they're most likely available in your local quilt shop or sewing center where they carry Mettler thread. Or if you want them faster than that, you can actually go to the website and download them. So what I have in the bobbin on this one is the fine embroidery, which is the 60 weight. That's a really nice lightweight thread. And I know that the color, because it's a pale green, although look at all those luscious colors, because it's a pale green, it's not gonna interfere with my metallic. My variegated metallic is shades of gold and it looks like there's silver in there too. This is really pretty. I'm gonna do the accent marks from the top down. Again, my best field of vision. Bringing my bobbin thread up, and I did drop my tension for the metallic thread, and I do have this thread on my horizontal spool, and I've had absolutely no problem with it there. Also, I haven't changed my needle for any of these threads. I have a Microtech size 80 needle in the machine, and it's working like a champ. So I'm going to take a few stitches in place. Those are my securing stitches and then I'm ready to put in my accent marks. And these are just little marks that do two things. They put this pretty thread into the feathers, but the other thing it does that I think is pretty is it forms a metallic line right down the spine of my bones, and it gives that a little extra sparkle. And I like the sparklies. Everybody who knows me knows pink and sparkly. Those, those are the two things I love. This is going to be really pretty. You can curve these, you can make them straight. I've done them both ways. On a couple of my samples I did them straight and on a couple more I did them curved. I like them both ways. You can make them shorter, you can make them longer. It's your seaweed. You can do anything you want. Also, I think I've been told a lot that you should stitch metallic very slow. I'm not stitching this particularly slow. It's not stripping, it's not breaking. I'm not having any problems with it. That is a plus in a metallic thread. I like a nice steady speed. Not too fast, not too slow. I'm not a speed demon, but the trade-off for that is that I don't rip too often. Still didn't break, <laughs> even when I got temporary lead foot. Up to the top and back down. This is a pleasure to work with. You know, I've had people come to me in classes. I teach all over the country, and I've had people come to me in classes and say, my machine will not sew metallic thread. And so I ask them some questions, you know, what kind of thread are you using? What are you doing? A lot of time it is the thread. You know, if you use high quality thread, I think you're gonna be happy with, you know, your results. One of the reasons that I've chosen to use Mettler over my quilting career, it doesn't run thick and thin, it doesn't have knots. I've been very, very happy with the quality and the consistency. Then once I finished with the one side, I can stop and secure it off, and I can just do those securing stitches right next to each other right there, lift my needle, clip my threads, and then I'm ready to do the other side.